hey you guys welcome back to another youtube video and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this wig make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so first thing first you guys are gonna see me pluck plucking does take time but the ending result is over so I got this method from Arrogant Tay where you put like a, a white towel under the frontal so it could like, you could get an idea of like a, a hairline. And it actually works, it's not that bad. Do you guys notice the difference? You see where I started plucking and the middle part? You see how thick the middle part is compared to the one I started plucking? So when I pluck, I like to go in like at least three section unless i'm doing a closure i don't really you know part it in three section but if i'm doing like a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 i try to do three separate sections you know i start with the side the middle and then the other side that kind of helps me Like I told y'all, plucking takes time. You gotta have patience for this. You gotta make sure you know you know what you're doing. Cause you don't wanna overpluck. 
because that could lead, you know, to having like a bald spot. You don't want that. So you got to be real patient and take your time. Do it section by section if you have to. So now for this part, you'll need a wig cap, which I have here. Also, you need a wig head. So you can put the wig cap on and, you know, start making the wig. You guys please don't mind my shirt i was drinking the juice and they fall on it please don't mind it act like it's not even there Now what I will be doing is putting the frontal first. This part is kind of complicated, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to make it, and I'm gonna try to stay in a way for y'all to understand. So when you guys putting it, try to put it like to the front, more to the front, if that makes sense. What I'm doing right now is putting in T-pins on the side. Like every time I'm okay with where I put the the frontal of the side is at, I put a T-pin there so the, that side do not move. So when I start to sew, it just stays there in place until I remove the T-pin. Now I'm going to use this white eyeliner to um to give you an idea of like where to you know to start sewing because most people you know once they start sewing they do it cricket. Now when I do this, it kind of gives you an idea of how to go so you don't mess up. And if you guys was wondering, yes, this does come off once you wash the hair you know the um the white lines will end up coming off with it too now when you start you want to start in the middle start sewing the middle you wanna usually when i sew the middle i always um i sew it twice just in case you know
So after I'm done securing the middle, I'm going to start off with the left side and, you know, sew all the way down. Now I'm just going to start sewing and just follow the lines that I draw and just keep going from there.
so now what you guys see me doing is you see that extra lace part well not the lace but the wig cap you want to cut that part off but you want to make sure you don't cut where you sew because if you cut where you sew it's like all the hard work that you did you pretty much did it for nothing so you guys be careful when it comes to that part make sure you cut only the part that has the um the wig cap not where you sew the frontal to it that's very important So you guys see this piece that I'm cutting. You could use it as a um elastic band for the back. Um, usually I would just use it as a way to melt down my lace, or if I'm not in the mood, I'll just use it as a elastic band to secure my wig. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.